Floodwaters may be receding around Metro Atlanta, but there are still plenty of storm damage that's left to be cleaned up. Let's go ahead and check in right now with our Savannah Levins, who's live in DeKalb County, just south of Decatur. Savannah, last hour we heard from a couple dealing with a submerged car on top of a collapsed home. And Helene certainly doing some damage, especially where you are tonight. Yeah, certainly, and we are talking about the continued dangers with the ground being so saturated just because it's not raining right now doesn't mean that that danger is over, and this is a good and really heartbreaking example. This tree fell on this home south of Decatur off Lullwood Trail around 1030 this morning. Right now in DeKalb County, as you mentioned, very hard hit. 26,000 people in the county right now still without power. We've seen crews out in this area all day working to clear trees for from power lines. This morning, 50,000 people in DeKalb didn't have power. So you can see that number slightly dwindling as crews work to restore that. Many traffic lights were out as well, with deep water pooling on many of the streets, causing certainly dangerous conditions for drivers. And those dangers do continue. Back to where I'm standing now, this tree came down on this home just hours ago, as I mentioned. The homeowner, Mickey, was home at the time, while her husband, Amari, was down the street, actually working to get his car towed out of a big pool of water that he'd stalled out in driving home from work. That in itself a close call situation. Mickey says she heard the crash of that tree right here into their sunroom just feet from where she stood and she ran outside to flag down her husband. Here's what they said just moments ago. So I was literally about to come into this room because I was going to bring my computer back into here and I heard like <sighs> And I was like, what? I kind of just froze. I was like, what is that? I built a lot of this in my own hands, and I can do it again. But you can't replace family, loved ones, friends. Yeah, guys, they had moved into this home just a few months ago, so obviously that makes this extra difficult. We certainly appreciate them inviting us into their home just to offer this example of why we really still can't our, let our uh, guards down quite yet, guys. Reporting live, Savannah Levins, 11 Alive News. Yeah, we are certainly thinking of them and everybody else, the other victims that we've seen from Helene. Savannah, thank you so much.